Hey YouTubers, it's been a while. I've been putting videos up on my other channel, but I just haven't been able to find enough time to do everything that I want to do. Anyway, I've got a video for you now. Let's get into it. I hope you enjoy it. I just got another job here to do. Came out of the blue. I've had this trailer for over a year now, but this is the first time I've put any really serious weight in it. It's supposed to be rated for uh, 750 kilograms, but when I had probably about 500 kilos in it, these tyres were hitting the rim. So I think they've skimped on the uh, springs. Just looking at them in under there, I would have expected some heavier springs. Other trailers I've seen have got heavier springs. So as an interim solution, I'm going to take these brackets here and I'm going to extend them by about 25, 30 mils for some heavier material and that will raise it up a little bit until I can get some heavier springs to or put another leaf in the spring, something like that. Check out what a few of my friends have got in the way of springs on their trailers. So anyway, I'll take you in and show you what I've got in mind to do. I've got this piece of scrap left over from another job. It's a good bit heavier, it looks like about 8 mil. There's 6 mil on those hangers that I've got. It's got some holes in it that I've got to cut around, but I'm going to cut it into strips. By the time I've trimmed them down, they'll be a couple of mils wider than the ones that are already there. But I'll get some pieces out of there that are long enough. I should get the four pieces I need out of there, no trouble. I'll show you what I intend to do after that. I've got a lot happening on this table at the moment, not to mention building the table itself. It's been getting used for a long time, half built, but it will get finished one day. Uh, anyway, this is the job at hand. I've got four pieces of this cut, um, ragged ends on here, obviously ragged ends on this side. I'm going to cut the piece out of the middle, but in the meantime, so that I can drill these all together and cut them all together, I'm going to put some tack wells on these to hold them in place so I can take the clamp off. Some very light tack wells because they're going to get cut off afterwards. Very light rod, um, two and a half millimetres, about 332s, running at about 80 amps. And since they're going to be ground off shortly anyway, I'm not even going to worry about knocking the flux off them. They're good as they are. And that's the finish of the welding for this job. I put this in the power hacksaw and I squared off one end of it. I'm going to drill the holes before I do anything to cut the length. And the holes are going to be 20 mils in from the end. And I want them to be so it'll be 140 wheel will take me, yeah, it'll be about right. So 20 mils in from this end. That gives me 100 mils between the holes. And that's about where I want them. I'm just pretending this is a, you know, this square is going to be of use. I'm using it as a ruler more than anything else because there's nothing square to put it against. Now these are roughly 45 wide, so I'm going to go roughly 22 and a half in to find the centre. Doesn't have to be all that exact. That looks pretty good actually. For someone who wasn't trying to be all that exact. Alright, I'll just go and get a punch to punch them. Double check that. Yeah, I've got that 100 apart. Yep. And yeah, all right, all within half a mil of where I want them to be, which is good enough for this job. Take them over and get them drilled. I'm going to drill through with a smaller drill first, and then I've got to put a half inch drill through. I 
Now, I wasn't real worried about the other drill, but this one's got a lot more potential to grab. We'll just get that centered there. Now we're going to put a clamp on him. Just to make sure he doesn't twing too much on me. That's got the holes filled. Now I can cut them to length, round the corners off, grind them so that they look a bit reasonable, and that'll take the wells off as well. Let's make the next job cutting these to length now. Right, cut the length. Now I shall round off the corners and even them up a bit and then they'll be ready to put on. I'm just using a saw to cut the corners off these so they don't have as much to grind when I round them off. Right, now just a little bit of grinding will even those out quite nicely, just take those sharp corners off of it. Big beast out for this job, but I do want a few other bits and pieces of protection. Now we have a lot of dust in the air this time, so a bit of a dust guard. Eyes and ears. them all cut out, all prepped and ready to put onto the trailer. I did have some video of putting them onto the trailer, but for some reason, I'm not sure what, it's disappeared. Either it didn't record properly on the camera, or it got corrupted on bringing it off camera, whatever, it's gone. So I've got these few stills of the pieces on the trailer after I've fitted them. Fitting them is pretty straightforward, just get a hydraulic jack or something and take the weight of the trailer itself while you undo the springs and drop them down, put the new pieces on and then use the hydraulic jack to adjust the height of the trailer until you can slip the bolt through again. Pretty straightforward, uh, nothing to it. Well that's it for another video, I do hope you enjoyed it and I am sorry that I lost that final piece of footage. If you'd like to see more of my videos, you can go to my YouTube channel. There's a website where I have some plans for some of my previous projects. And don't forget to click like, comment and subscribe for more. Until next time. <laughs>